Hi, this is the Ruckus Feature Explainer Series. I'm Terry Henry. Uh, this time we're going to talk about a uh, new feature called the Universal Firmware Image that uh, starts in ICX version 8080. And basically, in the past, when you did a firmware upgrade on a device, um, you needed to upgrade the firmware to primary or secondary flash. Then you needed to upgrade the boot code and the PoE firmware separately if they were requ required. Um, or you had to run the manifest file, uh, you know, it uploads the manifest file and then goes back to the TFTP server and gets the boot code and gets the PoE firmware. Um, so with universal firmware image, what happens is there's a, now a single bin file. Uh, you would upload that bin file just as you would a regular image into primary or secondary. Once the system reloads, then it's going to check the PoE firmware and the boot code and upgrade those if necessary. So no longer do you have to read the release notes. Well, you still have to read the release notes, um, but um, you don't have to check the release notes to say, you know, do I need new boot code? Do I need new PoE firmware? The system is going to check that for you and it's all going to come out of a single image. So it doesn't have to go back to the TFTP. So let's have a look at how that works. So this is a uh, 7150 Compaq, uh, although it works for any of the ICXs. Um, and this is starting in 8080, right? So you need to be running 8080 code or later in order for UFI to be supported. Um, so in my case, if I look to a show version here, I'm running uh, SPS 8080 beta 5. So I'm running a beta code and I'm going to upgrade into the uh, public release code. Um, I'm also running for boot code. I'm running... Uh, um, 10.1.12, but this is also beta image. And um, for PoE, uh, show in inline power detail will show me that. Um, so I'm running uh, 2.1.0 build 002 for PoE firmware. So if after the system uh, uploads a new firmware, if it decides that it needs new boot code, and new PoE firmware, it'll do that after the reload. So the way we copy this, just the normal way we would write copy from TFTP to Flash to our TFT or from our TFTP server, I should say, 1.35 in my case. Um, the image file, so it's SPR uh, 080 uh, UFI.bin, right? So that because this is a universal firmware image, it, it ends in UFI. Um, we still support the old and we'll still ship the um, non-UFI image. So if you want to do it with a manifest, you want to do it, you know, just the uh, just the firmware without the boot code or the or the PoE, you can certainly do that without the UFI, but the UFI is going to make your life easier. And then lastly, to primary or secondary, just like you normally would. So it's going to you know, upload that code into the primary flash. In my case, I'm loading router code, but switch code is also supported. Uh, and once that's done, we'll do the reload and then you'll see the magic happen. And it's gonna show you that it's gonna upgrade, um, if required, it's gonna upgrade that boot code and uh, PoE firmware. So we will just wait for that uh, to load and then do a reload and then we'll, uh, we'll have a look at that. And if we look at, uh, so here we look at the code. So we're now running SPR 8080, right? So we're no longer running the uh, the beta five that we were before. We've also uh, upgraded the uh, boot code, right? So it's automatically upgraded that boot code um, to, uh, it was running 10.1.12 before, but it was also running uh, uh, beta, right? So uh, 001, which is no longer. Um, so that is completed. Um, and then show inline power detail. It did not upgrade the PoE firmware. You could still see that it's running uh, 2.1 build 002. So that's the latest firmware. So it did not uh, do that beta firmware or did not do the PoE firmware, but it would have had that been required. So that's it. Makes your life a whole lot easier, right? Just do the one uh, universal firmware upgrade. It'll do everything for you. 
and uh, off you go. So again, that starts in 8080. So your device has to be running at least some version of 8080 in order for this to work. But going forward, universal firmware is certainly the recommended upgrade procedure from Ruckus. All right, so thanks very much, and I'll see you next time. Have a great day.